Hello, Taurus. This is you versus them. Oh, okay. Not ready yet. <laughs> For the 14th through the 20th, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. Please hit the like button, share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you need a personal reading, that information is below the video. Okay, here we go. Let's see what your past issues were in your relationship. Let's see. Hmm. For you guys, either there is um, an Aries person that may be younger than you or somebody that you just felt was like kind of reckless, um, maybe even foolish in the relationship. Let's see how I can get that in focus. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what their past issues were in the relationship. Hmm, they felt like you were juggling. They possibly felt like you were cheating on them. They felt like you were unsure about being with them. Like you could not, you know, keep your focus here. Hmm, that they never really knew what they were getting with you. Let's see what is keeping you guys apart here. I think that you are just not, you're not really willing at this point to accept, um, accept the love from them, accept that you love them even, or they are not willing to, okay? One of you is not addressing the love that you guys share, the feelings that you have for each other, okay? Not coming to grips with it. Let's see what they feel is keeping you apart. That you're closed off. That you're not sharing. Or either you feel that they are closed off and not sharing. Like they're not willing to um, bend even. Or selfish. You know, any of those things where you're just not really to, willing to give of yourself to someone else because you just don't feel like it's a safe thing for you to do. Okay. Feeling like, you know, they probably did um, contribute it more in the relationship. Like it was one sided that you didn't give as much as they did here. Ooh, okay. Let's see what's currently going on for you guys. I think you're just not really wanting to show um, any emotion right now. You're just kind of wanting to, you know, stay in your comfort zone, um, you know, not lend your feelings to anybody. I think you're just focusing really on, on you know, just, just feeling content, you know, just not being bothered with any emotional mess, I feel. Or drama even it's like you just want to stay in your safe place where um, nobody's bothering you you're not bothering them and you just yeah that's it hmm now somebody's going through an awakening right now somebody is going through an awakening right now there's something that's happening currently with this person that um, that has turned their whole world upside down. Maybe even the way that they think about things or, or the way they do things, they could have possibly also have been fired from a job or you know been put out of a house. Maybe something is going on within their um, their family. There's something that's going on with this person currently that um, is awakening something in them, okay? Let's see what the outside influence is for you guys. I think you're just starting over. You know, there's something that, you know, since this connection, since this relationship has ended, that um, you are eager about, that you're excited about, and you're just 
you're moving on, I feel. I feel like you're moving on. Let's see what's going on with them currently. Or their outside influence. Sorry, guys. Hmm. I think what has happened with them, like I said, there's an awakening going on here. I think something is stirring within them. They're realizing that they they probably were a little cold with you. And they're really trying to get their emotional stability here. They're trying to be more loving, more giving, um, be more emotional. But it's like this tower is here. So there's something, there's something that's going on that or has happened that has awakened this in them. And I think it's probably the fact that, you know, you're no longer worried about if they will open up. You don't really care. And you're not offering your emotion either. And I think that is something that's a little different for them. A little jarring either. Even. Okay. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. You have two aces now. I feel like there is something that my Taurus friends have done as far as not only a relationship because I feel more so that this is um, something that you guys have started that's going to bring you um, a lot of success here like financially this is financial success I do believe and I also feel like maybe there's somebody that has piqued your interest that has probably asked you out on a date or somebody that's attracted to you. I don't think you're as attracted to them as they are to you, though. But I think you're still kind of like, you know, you are inviting it. OK. Let's see what's coming in for them. Hmm. I think after after this person picks up the pieces, there may be somebody that comes in for them. That is an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, like yourself. Um, but this King of Cups is looking right down at the Nine of Pentacles. So, and then we have the Ace of Pentacles up here, Earth Energy. I feel like either you Tarses are going to offer something to this person, or this person is going to offer something to you. They're really trying to get their confidence up. They're trying to feel good again because they have been through um, this tower moment where, you know, everything has shifted for them. Like they've had this stark realization about something here. And I think it's their own behavior that they realized was not working for them. And so they're trying to get themselves together here is what I feel. And um, yeah, let's see what the blockage is for you guys. What's the blockage? Hmm. I think there's a need for you to be more forgiving, um, more loving, uh, more receptive, even, um, and use your intuition regarding this. This not only this person, but um, use your intuition. Do what's in your heart as far as anything else goes in your life. Okay, if it's somebody else that you want to start over with and you feel that in your gut that's good for you, then it's that. If you feel in your heart that you want to give this person a chance because maybe they've changed after this terror moment, then it's that. But to be more receptive, more open to giving, 
to loving, to receiving, you know, that type of energy here. Don't be overly emotional. Don't be overly giving. Okay, but a lot of times the queens are balanced. You know, they're balanced with their emotions. They just, you know, they, they think from a, a more emotional standpoint is the thing. Okay, let's see what their blockage is. Hmm. Maybe they are not happy. Maybe they're not happy where they're living right now. Maybe they're already in a relationship, situationship, what have you. Maybe they are a single parent and, you know, that has taken a lot of their time. They're trying to be more um, present in their kid's life. Maybe their blockage is the fact that they are not with you. Because they have a king of cups here. And then here you come as a queen of cups. And both of you are surrounding this ten of cups. I think their growth, honestly, is related to you and yours to them in some form or fashion, okay? Don't shoot the messenger, guys. Let's see what the advice is for you guys. Hmm. Transformation. Transformation. Let's see what the blockage is for them. See what other messages we get. That they refuse to see. They refuse to see where their ultimate happiness really lies. They know it. They know it. They're fighting this. They walked away from it. And I feel like another block for you may be that maybe you're refusing to maybe you're refusing to give this another chance. Maybe you just want to let it go. Hmm. Maybe there's a need for you to turn around and accept a conversation even if this person is willing to have it because both of you guys are on your way out physically, but I feel like the energy is still very present between the two of you. Both of you are just basically trying to move on. Basically trying to move on and avoid this Ten of Cups here. Okay? Let's see what the outcome is for you guys here. Hmm. This is... This is realization. This is um, acknowledgement. This is being enlightened. This is being happy. Things been illuminated for you. So with this being said, and I feel like this is like the phoenix rising with the death and the sun here. Okay? Like the phoenix rising. Yeah, it was dead. Yeah, it was in the ashes. But guess what? It can, it can rise again. This king of cups is facing this ten of cups. But you, Taurus, my friends, you're facing this ending. You're wanting to walk away um, and just leave this behind. I think you've had enough. You feel like you've had enough, even though you love this person, I feel. Okay? So, my Taurus friends, that's what I have for you guys, and I will speak with you soon.